Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. American football's biggest night has exposed more than 100 million people potentially to the Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury rematch, which of course is on February the 22nd. So there was ad spots as well as other guest appearances through associated programming with Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. So this three weeks out from fight night is perfect timing. Doesn't mean that anyone who watched it is necessarily just going to buy the pay-per-view if they haven't already been following boxing but certainly with such a big audience you would hope that the exposure is going to lead to some more buys the first event between Wilder and Fury in December 2018 doing about 325,000 buys so this is good timing and a good sort of jab in the arm for the promotion ahead of fight night on February the 22nd Tyson Fury has declared that he would like to have a trilogy fight with Derek Chisora. So he's again named a three-man lineup who, who he wants to fight before he retires. He did this recently and it was Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua and Dillian White. But now he has added Derek Chisora in swapping out White for Chisora, saying, from boxing I want nothing, and this is to BT Sport, I don't want anything from boxing. I'm happy doing just what I'm doing, ticking along nice and slowly, and just take a few more scalps before I hang up my gloves. Three more. I'm going to knock out Wilder, then he's not going to want a rematch. Then I'm going to fight Joshua and beat him too. Then I've always said to my old pal Derek Chisora, I'd have a farewell fight with him. So maybe I get the old Trafford fight with old Del Boy after all. Then it's curtains on a fantastic career. Tyson Fury statements to BT Sport. Now with Tyson Fury you have to take things with a grain of salt because he's already changed his three-man list and if the money's there and he gets a big offer of you know another couple years worth of you know five fights for a hundred million dollars or something guarantee he probably sticks around for more than three fights. Meanwhile, Tyson Fury's promoter Frank Warren looks set to announce a fight between Joe Joyce and Daniel Dubois soon. Talks have been going underway for some weeks now with the date of April the 18th, a possibility at the O2. So Warren has told Five Live Boxing Podcast, I'm hoping we might be in a position to announce that soon. We are in peak discussions and I think it's going to get done. But Joe Joyce's manager has been uh, playing tricks with fans online on his Twitter, making out that he's almost on the verge of making a fight between Joe Joyce and the Japanese heavyweight Kyotaru Fujimoto, who was destroyed in two rounds by Daniel Dubois this past December. So you can see here on screen, so Jones says Joyce versus Fujimoto almost done, and then he's got a fire symbol, hashtag the juggernaut. And above that, he says Fujimoto deserves a second chance. I heard he had a bad camp in his last fight, so we want to give him another chance. Plus, he won't be eating any bacon rolls at Winter Wonderland this time. And in another tweet further up on his timeline, he says, Time to go to work. See you soon. Hashtag Juggernaut v Fujimoto. And I hope he is being facetious because fans do not want to see that in a million years. It was something that we had to endure with Daniel Dubois, who really shouldn't have been facing Fujimoto, who was completely overmatched. Meanwhile, Dan Raphael says that former heavyweight titleist Joseph Parker, who is scheduled to fight on the Mikey Garcia Jesse Vargas card on February the 29th in Frisco, Texas, will face Shondell Winters, multiple sources with knowledge of the plans told ESPN. The camps have agreed to, and then it cuts off to his story, which is uh, on the ESPN site. This was something that I reported uh, a couple of days before that, actually, that uh, Shondell Winters was now in the frame for a fight with Joseph Parker. And seemingly, it looks like it will be confirmed shortly, or Raphael is saying it's a done deal. And Joseph Parker himself is saying that he would like to fight either Alexander Usuk or or Derek Chisora, whoever wins that fight. So he says, I would like to fight both guys, you know. Chisora is coming off some great wins, Usyk coming into the heavyweight division. I will pick skills, which Usyk has better skills and better movement, so I will lean towards him in that fight, but you can't count Chisora out. He has been looking quite good in his recent fights. Meanwhile, it looks like former cruiserweight champion Murat Gassiev will make his heavyweight fight debut on the same card as Parker in Frisco, Texas later this month. BoxRec reports that Jerry Forrest is his opponent. 
And Forrest, of course, recently in 2019 fought Jermaine Franklin. He was on an 18-fight win streak ahead of that one. But in terms of Gassiev's first fight, probably um, a relatively soft touch considering some of the opponents he has been named to potentially fight in his first fight. Also, Carlos Takam is set to make his first fight on ESPN as part of his new co-promotional deal with ESPN, Top Rank and Star Boxing. He will be back in the ring on February the 28th and that will be in Huntington in the United States. Cash Ali will also be in the ring later this month on February the 21st. He will be taking on Josh Sandland. And Sandland, you may recall, was in the recent edition of Ultimate Boxer, getting a win in the first round against Camille Sokolowski. Ali has only had the one fight since losing to David Price, in which he was disqualified for biting Price multiple times. Ultimately, he had his boxing license taken for six months. And rounding out this heavyweight news mashup video, the Russian heavyweight Apti Dovtaev, who's currently 19-0 with one draw, he will be making his second appearance in 2020 on February the 21st in Russia against an as-yet-to-be-named opponent. Apti Dovtaev is currently being promoted by Dmitry Salita. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.